All right, we are live on Facebook. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm so excited because we are interviewing uh, Lauren Passis about her experience becoming, becoming a yoga teacher. So she has taken um, 200 hour and a 300 hour and we are launching our first year doing a 300 hour at Point Loma Sports Club in Point Loma here in San Diego. So um, gosh, welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. You're one of our teachers who will be on board to share this amazing message about finding your inner guru. Yeah. So what Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So what we are um, really curious about is that in between stage from when you took your 200 hour, because I know there's so many people who have experienced taking a 200 hour and are on the fence or like thinking about possibly moving themselves forward into um, taking a 300 hour. So what was that, that minute, what were you doing? Like when you made that life choice to, to do a 300 hour? All right. I, um, I had a wonderful experience uh, for my 200 hour training. Um, it really did open up my heart and it did just skim the surface a bit. And um, I definitely wanted to know more. I just didn't know what that meant. Um, I was given the opportunity to run my family real estate business. So my mother was um, quite generous in that. And it was it's so awesome to work for her. Um, it was busy. And, you know, um, from a financial standpoint, it was an incredible experience. Um, so I was working a lot. I was teaching a little bit. Um, and there was something inside of me that just wasn't right. I almost had this, this split energy, right? I wasn't really going anywhere. I felt stuck. I was, I was stressed out, um, because I was doing something my heart didn't want. And I had a heating pad at my desk for my low back. So I was, I was in pain and, and my body was, was screaming at me, literally telling me, you know, this isn't right. And I think it got so big and I, I had an emotional breakdown. I had a, a very big one uh, one day and I, I truly believe the universe was giving me what I wanted and had been asking for. Um, right. Had I, been, had I been tapped in, right? Right. Oh, I love this. I love this. So that big experience was was your mind knowing what you wanted and your yeah. desire being so so um, big, but the mind giving you doubts and worries and what ifs, but then the body, the body gave you a gift. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Your body yeah. gave you a gift to experience more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ex exactly. Um, it was abrupt. It was painful initially. And I was, I was terrified. Um, but I knew at that time, I just needed to follow my heart. And, and that was when I decided to devote myself to uh, yoga. And I took my advanced training right away. I jumped right into it. I said, I don't care anymore. I don't know about money. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to go for it. And um, yeah, it was the best decision I ever made, honestly, for my body's sake, too. My body was happy about it. Yeah, you know, I just want to explore that a little bit because we do, uh, I think that um, in our society, we don't understand how connected we are to that, those layers, right? And right. that we disassociate pain and discomfort or disease with um, the emotional body. But for you, you knew immediately that those two were connected, that you weren't listening um, and that that split energy was the root of the pain. That's yeah. huge. That's really intuitive and very, very wise. Yeah, it was a bit mess. It was messier at the time. It makes a lot of sense right now. <laughs> 
But I think when you have one foot out the door in whatever situation you're in, you know, when you just kind of like, okay, this is not right. Um, it's almost one of the hardest places to be, Yeah, you know, not living wholeheartedly, not, you know, following your, your heart's desire. Yeah. Yeah. You were, brave. you were very brave. And so what did you do? What, what was your 300 hour training like? Um, well, I, I went to India and, and I was experiencing a lot of pain in my body and I really just wanted to dive in and devote myself to practice. I wanted to find discipline. I really wanted to heal myself. And that was why I went away for a month to just, to just go there. Um, and you know, the advanced training is just a whole nother layer level. And, um, you know, the people that are there are committed to yoga, they're ready to take it up a notch. And so it was a powerful experience for me. Um, I changed completely and the knowledge um, that I received transformed the way I teach. Um, it connected me in so many other ways. Um, yeah, yes. Yeah. So finding um, that growth, that inner growth is what makes awesome teachers. And if we are able to be brave enough, courageous enough to delve deep in, into finding that transformation, I mean, we need assistance and um, uh, finding the perfect match to help grow that is, <laughs> is part of our um, experience. Yeah. So I'm glad you found that. That's neat. Me too. <laughs> Me too. But what about if somebody can't go to India or has, um, uh, I love the, you know, there's no place like home. Could we do that same sort of transformation here? Yeah. I mean, what a beautiful way to go through this training and slowly begin to integrate it into your life. You know, we have family, animals, children, um, you know, jobs even, and you just take a little bit at a time and, and the process is, you know, st you still get those effects, but you get to kind of let it gradually, um, like I said, integrate. And I think it's, it's powerful in that way. I, I did come home and received a bit of a shock, you know, like it was, it was challenging. So um, I think staying at home, being in your environment um, and without having to change that is, is quite effective as well. Yes. I mean, I think that there is a place for that, for the sabbatical um, and the reboot. But then I also um, believe that, I mean, cause I, I've done it all pretty much all my training is has been here in the United States and my my transformations have been here in this place because I am a householder I have three children yeah. and um, my oldest is 28 and my youngest is eight so finding though the soul here in this place has been just incredible too you know and I, it can be done and it happens all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Um, so after you took your 300 hour and you started teaching, cause you've been teaching for almost four years now, what has made you sing and sparkle in class? Like what, what fills you up when you teach? Um, well, so, you start to find your niche, right? Um, especially in these trainings, you're like, ah, that's what I resonate with. Ah, that's where I want to go with this. Um, the biggest, the biggest one for me would be more, you know, trauma informed yoga and yoga therapy. So the therapeutic side of um, what we're doing. So there's a lot of people that are trying to heal through yoga um, and they have never been given the tools. They have no idea what they're doing. They, just show up because they need something to shift. Right. Um, so it's about holding that space for these people, right? Not necessarily telling them what they should be doing, but yeah. giving them the opportunity to find their version um, because 
their body is completely different than yours. So I've really understood how to hold that space, not only for my students, but for myself as well. You know, every day is different. Yes, yes, I love that. Finding the um, yoga, because, so that we start at the beginning, we find that transformation in that inner um, development of our own practice and we know what it feels like. So having recognized that and, and expanded in that way, we are expecting that you can find it too. When I see my students, I, I, I trust and I know that they too can find their yoga, not my yoga, but their yoga, right? Right, so empowering them to shift and change on their own. Yeah, yeah. that's my How? forte. That's what your forte is. And guess what? That is what I want this training to be about is, is finding what resonates for you as a teacher and taking what you want from the training because it is a mixed bag. We have so many modalities that can be um, incorporated into your uh, curriculum as a teacher. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's, that's the root of what this is all about. Yes. Yeah. So good. Yeah, I, I think um, I think I wanted to speak a little bit about about breath work as well. I mean, I, that's something that um, we've talked about bringing um, to the training also. So that was another part of this um, journey that really sang to me. Like you said, I like that. It really sang to me. Breath work is you know deep breathing for longer periods of time, um, really cl cleansing the subconscious mind and um, you know fueling me for clarity in, in my future. So. Uh, breath work is another part that really stood out for me that I've been quite devoted to as well. Yes, yes. Uh, me too. Me too. There is, um, uh, I put you in the group, the Thousand Breath Challenge group. Yes. Uh, yes. So right at the beginning of our of the training, uh, it works wonderfully because as a group, as a community, as a tribe, we will be exploring a 13-day challenge where we're building our breaths up to a thousand. You're so, and I asked you, I'm like, have you done a thousand breaths? Lauren, and Lauren's like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and I have to say that's impressive because I just recently started breathing for an hour at a time. And that's a lot because an hour and a half is what takes what it takes to, to, to get to a thousand breaths. I mean, if you're, mm. if you're consciously using your mind to count. So um, James Beard is part of our training and, and that's, uh, he's written a, a thousand breath challenge um, book. And uh, so we use that, but yeah. How exciting. I can't wait to be a part of that as well. Yeah. Um, we're always learning, <laughs> the, always learning from each other. The documentation of my videos at 200 breaths and 500 breaths, it's just like, wow tears and heart opening so breath work is dear to my heart too um and it's transformed the way i teach vinyasa too. lots of uh at the end even now uh in some of my corporate classes i have us sit for 30 uh for 30 breaths which takes five minutes and i let them know what's going on i, I say you know you can lay down you can leave whatever but if you want to join we're going to sit here for five minutes and count for 30 breaths and the class stays. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Um, wow. People really do enjoy it. They just need to know how to, how to do it, you know? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Anything else to add to um, that, that teacher who has their 200 hour and is on the middle place where they want to move forward and they're ready to move forward? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think if, if it's inside of you, you know, <laughs> you know, like I, if it's just knocking at the door just a little bit, I mean, see if you can listen in, um, ask questions, get some more information, you know, um, contact you especially because it could be life changing. It could be the universe saying, Hey, I've got something for you right here and it's time, you know? Yep. I think there's that inner knowing anyway. Yep. And I'm here for you. If you have any questions, we can do this same sort of format. We could do a little Zoom conference where I can see your face. And if you have any questions or that um, ideas of what 
you know, what's holding you back. Maybe I can help you move through that. Uh, a phone call too works, but yeah, I'm here. Just reach out and um, Lauren too. Lauren would love to chat with anyone who's interested and has yes. questions. Absolutely. So good. Most definitely, I'm here. All right, so that's good. And we'll put the link to all the information about the training down below this live Facebook. Yay, and congratulations on christening your first live experience. Right? <laughs> I know. I'm hooked. I'm Yay. hooked. Good. <laughs> thank you, Ta, so much. All right, thank you, Lauren, for doing this with me. I appreciate it. All right, and happy, happy, happy. So happy to have you share your knowledge with us and all the trainees, so good. Oh, me too, I can't wait. All right, namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm.